Hello everybody, welcome to another review from Tim the Fish Geek. Uh, I'm going to be showing you through a new Inkbird product, uh, so stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome to a, another review on this time a Inkbird IBS-M1. Um, I've done a review on these before and so don't think you are um, double taking because uh, this this is different. This is effectively a version 2. I cannot see any physical difference actually on the unit. Even the model number is the same but it is it has some uh, well particularly one new killer feature which is great for myself um so that is the the physical unit uh let's now uh go and take a look at actually what you see within the menu option okay so we now are in the original inkbird pro application i'm using a ios device uh, so it may look different on different devices um, and what i've got here is actually the um the old version uh, of the controller um on on this app uh, inkbird have actually now updated their software to a new uh, app as well so we'll look at that one but this is how my old uh, one would have uh, seen and so uh, you'll have a, a list here of the uh, devices you have hooked up. So I have a number of different temperature sensors um, and uh, you get a sort of a pictorial type view. So here I've got one of one of my ponds, which uh, shows then the temperature of the uh, probe itself um, and then an external probe as well as humidity on there and then you can go through and see some of the historical data uh, settings and so forth um, so it was all quite clean um, the downside was and this is this is the biggest win for the new version the, the you could only have uh, one two three four devices hooked up to uh, the hub um, which frankly for me just wasn't enough with the amount of fish tanks which I have and if you're doing other things um, uh, for, for probes and a lot of people use them in uh, beer making and things as well um, you know it's it's just not going to be enough for you so let's move into the new version of the app which is just called Inkbird and um, here you can see I have a number of other controllers as well but uh, the, uh, the IBS M1S Two is listed, and um, here what you can now see is a much larger list. And uh, I can't recall now off the top of my head how many devices, but it's it's a lot, uh, a lot more than four anyway um, that you can now have hooked up. Um, it does uh, look a little bit different. You don't have the same sort of pictorial um, ones, which is for me was a little disappointing. I, it definitely helps having the visual interpretation as to where that particular probe or sensor is. Um, when asking for feedback around that one, I was advised because you can have so many probes, having so many pictures load up would actually uh, be detrimental for the performance of the application in its own right. Um, so, so it does look different, um, but it's all still very clear. Um, all the information on here you can name all the different devices um so you can have like you know tank the battery um again the humidity i think it's clear actually showing you the different probe status as well where you've got um uh, here uh, for the actual uh, probe it would into the unit and the external probe um and let's just, just look at the uh, fish tank at the top so yes yeah, humidity as well if we um look at the historical data so here's the data going through. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. You can take the data off and on. Um, and then you can also export it uh, to a CSV, which you can then put in to a um, uh, Excel document as well, if you would like to. And also humidity as well can be seen. So it's, it's a nice little app, I've got to say. Okay, so yeah. I I was uh, quite happy and definitely the experience of having all those different uh, probes on here has really, really, really helped. You can switch across to Fahrenheit and all those sorts of cool things. And um, I don't think there's a lot more in regards to settings. Um, 
which uh, you can uh, uh, play with. But uh, but yeah, all in all, it was a, a good improvement. If you already have one of these devices and you have less than four um, thermometers to hook up to it, then the original is, is still fine and there's no need for it to update. If you have more, then um, yeah, this rather than have two different hubs, this is going much better having one uh, in all in one place. So definitely worth the upgrade from that point of view. And if you're getting one of these units for the first time, I would uh, definitely look to get one of the V2 um, hubs. So yeah, another great product from, from Inkbird. And um, please uh, uh, look at some of the other videos that I have in regards to the specific thermometers uh, on here. And if you're interested in anything else, techy or fishy, please uh, follow and subscribe on the channel. It really helps. And thanks very much for your support and leave any comments if you might have them.